So does fuel go off over time? When you buy it, there's no set expiration date in the traditional sense. But in reality, fuel does degrade. Even diesel or gasoline petrol variants of fuel will degrade over time and cause all sorts of problems. And this is typically something that will affect a person who is storing their car over a period of time. So typically petrol, gasoline or diesel fuels will degrade over time. So in this video, we're just going to discuss some of the problems that come when you've left your fuel in your tank for too long. And we're going to look at ways you can avoid this or mitigate those problems. And it's particularly aimed at those that don't use their car very much. Maybe the car has been in storage or maybe the car is going into storage for a period of time. So the question is, how long is the fuel good for and what can you do to extend the lifespan of the fuel to? To avoid the problems that come with old fuel. So typically most fuels will be really good after 12 months. It will show signs of degradation after about six to eight months. But in reality, there is no difference in performance of a fuel that is say 10 months old compared to one that is brand new. So there's a few differences and a lot of similarities between the fuels and what happens to them over a period of time. But we'll just take gasoline or petrol variants of fuel first. So these tend to evaporate off. So when you leave fuel in your tank, you might think of your tank as being completely sealed, but it's not. It is vented to the atmosphere. Oxygen is getting in there and fuel vapor is escaping, albeit relatively slowly. So parts of the fuel are evaporating off, leaving heavier elements behind. So that's causing a concentration and it's upsetting the chemical balance of the fuel. So in real terms, that will effectively lower the octane of the fuel. So you might experience knock or rough running or poor start if you've left the gasoline or petrol in the car for too long a period of time. So diesel fuels tend to have a shorter shelf life than gasoline or petrol equivalent. This is because nowadays they're manufactured as ultra low sulfur fuels and that does reduce the lifespan. There's also a problem in diesel fuels with bacteria or fungal growth forming within it. So diesel fuel should really be used up fairly quickly once it's in the tank. Certainly aim to get your fuel used up by about six months. Any longer than that and you could potentially start to have problems. They've actually measured diesel fuel and they've seen evidence of degradation after just 30 days. So make sure that your fuel tank is topped right up if you're going to leave it and add some kind of fuel stabilizer formulated for diesel fuels which will inhibit that bacterial or fungal growth that could potentially happen and also keep the fuel stable for longer periods of time and avoid that degradation. Now diesel injectors are critical to the whole way the engine works. The spray that you get out of them determines how fast the flame front moves. The diesel injectors have a significant bearing on the performance of the engine and if they've become soiled up with varnishes or gums or they're just partially clogged and not flowing as freely as they can, that can have a detrimental effect to the performance of your car. Contamination is something that affects both fuel types and it's really where moisture or water vapour in the air condenses out and starts mixing with the fuel. So instead of just your concentrated fuel, it's become mixed in with a layer of water which can really dramatically affect the properties of the fuel. The fuel is no longer going to lubricate the fuel system as well. That can cause additional corrosion on the injectors. The quality of the fuel is reduced. Again, you might experience a problem with not or rough running and other inherent problems that you get just from having so much moisture in the fuel itself. Oxidation. This is where oxygen mixes with the fuel. A chemical reaction takes place. There's electrons going off and having parties and it leaves you with a, a much less stable consistency of fuel. So the instability is caused really is the formation of gums or varnishes. Now these tend to clog the fuel filter, can upset the fuel pump, can soil the injectors and affect the spray pattern. So that's probably the biggest problem you're going to have if you're storing fuel over a period of time. Oxidization or oxidation and the formation of gums and varnishes within the fuel. So what can you do to actually mitigate this problem or avoid it? Well, firstly, if you're storing the fuel, make sure it is in an airtight container. It's the oxygen that reacts with the fuel that causes the problem. So you want to make sure there's no oxygen in there. Fill the container to the brim 
because that will help to minimize the exposure that it has to air and you've got the best chance of the fuel lasting a longer period of time. But there's also additives that you can put into the fuel. They're called fuel stabilizers. And generally they will extend the life of your fuel by a significant length of time, generally about 12 months or so. Read the instructions on the label because all of the formulations are slightly different. And a diesel fuel stabilizer is somewhat different to your gasoline petrol fuel stabilizers. So make sure you choose an appropriate one for the type of fuel that you're using. So what's actually in a fuel stabilizer? Well, it has a mix of antioxidants, a metal deactivator, peroxide neutralizers, and dispersants and lubricants designed to prevent the clumping and the forming of deposits within the fuel that can soil the fuel pump or the injectors and cause those rough running problems. Bear in mind that any type of fluid, if it's left for a length of time, it will start to separate out into its base layers. So agitating the fuel and remixing it is certainly a good idea just to avoid a concentration of one part being sucked through the fuel system and going into the engine. It's a shame you can't just pick the fuel tank up in the car and shake it around. But there are various ways of agitating the fuel in the tank. But even with a minimal imagination, you can think of ways of getting that fuel in the tank to slosh around and be better mixed. So if your fuel has been left in the car for a substantial length of time, we're talking about periods of time in excess of 12 months, you've not added a fuel stabilizer, you will probably have problems if you start the engine. So what you're looking to do really is to drain the fuel system and add fresh fuel. So you're not pulling all of that old degraded fuel through the various components in the fuel system. It's also a good idea to change the fuel filter and get the injectors checked, cleaned, or replaced if they're showing signs of degradation from the formation of gums and deposits and that's affecting the spray pattern and the smooth running of the car. But in most cases just draining the fuel system, topping it off with fresh fuel and changing the fuel filter is sufficient to get the car back on the road and to avoid those problems. As soon as you've pulled all that bad fuel through the engine that's when you start having the problems with things clogging up and the rough running and all the other issues. So it's best to avoid that not to just try the engine to see if it runs because because that generally is the point where you create the problem and you do the most damage to your engine. So I hope this video has been informative to you. Please boot that like button because that really does help us to get out there. And thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. We would love you to stay tuned and I'll see you in this next video. Thank you for watching.